This video covers the concept of inheritance and extending in ActionScript. If you look at this list that I've got at the top here, you can see there's a chain. Display object, interactive object, display object container, sprite, and movie clip. This is a chain of inheritance. So all of the properties and methods that exist in display object are also inside of interactive object, display object container, sprite, and movie clip. Everything that's in sprite is also in movie clip. So we have a series of properties, methods, events that cascade down through these objects. Our document class extends the movie clip object. The movie clip object contains the timeline, frames, and animation. If we didn't want to use the timeline, let's say the stage was only going to have one frame, we could programmatically add objects that had animation, but we weren't going to use the timeline on the main stage. We could change our imp import statement here to be flash display sprite. The difference between sprite and movie clip basically boils down to the fact that one has animation on the timeline, one does not. The extends keyword explains to flash that our document class right here extends sprite so it contains all the functionality by default that sprites have. If we had some other type of object that we wanted to extend, if we were going to create a new ActionScript class, just right here, ActionScript 3.0 class, if we were going to call that Fred, for example, okay, we'll create that. Here it is. We could say that this is going to extend a class called person. Now, we would have to define that one what that was, import that as well, import world dot person. So let's say that there's a person object that is inside the folder world. Our Fred object can extend person, so everything that a person can do, Fred can do as well. And that's how the concept of inheritance works, and the keyword extends.